Hey, what's going on guys? If you're interested in expanding your reach or showing up in other cities close to where your physical business is, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to uh, expand your reach and come out maybe eight to 10 miles and possibly show up in the Google 3-pack. I have a lot of good little tips and tricks that I think you're gonna like. They're real easy to do and anybody could do them. So if you're interested in, in this, you know what to do. Watch this. Okay guys, so in the interest of time, I have everything already loaded. I get a couple of comments saying people like that, that everything's all ready to go and we get right to it. So here we go. So as you know, I live in Tampa. I have a place in Tampa. So I just want to show you that if you're, no matter what town you're in, you want to try to show up in the Google 3-pack, not only in your town, but you also want to expand your reach anywhere from eight to 10 miles. And that's, uh, you know, north, west, um, south and east of, your, of, of where you're located. And I get a lot of questions as to how to do this. So if you look at my screen, we're going to use Northwest Tampa right here, right in the center. We're going to use Northwest Tampa and we're going to imagine that you have a business in Northwest Tampa and you are showing up for your keyword, uh, plastic surgery, Northwest Tampa. Anytime somebody types in plastic surgery, you're showing up in the three pack. However, if they move over to Old West Tampa, if you take a drive over to Old West Tampa and you go to a friend's house and you say to a friend, hey, type in uh, plastic surgery and see if I show up. And not only are you not showing up, you're not on the first uh, 10 or 20 results. So that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to expand our reach. And I'm going to show you a couple of methods as to how to do that and it's not going to take more than uh, a couple of hours work depending on uh, whether you do it yourself or you send someone to work out but i'll show you how to do it hey guys i just want to thank everybody who's donated to my channel if you could please uh, donate the link is below uh, it's only two dollars and 99 cents i have a paypal link i have a credit card link uh, if you could please help me out that would be great it keeps my staff on keeps everybody working thanks guys all right, so check this out. What we're going to do is create city pages. We're going to create city pages on our website that link to one another, and the first one is going to link back to the home page. So in this example, I used Northwest Tampa as the example. So on this diagram, you'll notice it says city page one. Well, in city page one, that's going to be your Northwest Tampa page. Okay, you're going to get one image and you're just going to write anywhere between 250 and 500 words on Northwest Tampa. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so don't worry about how you're going to do it. That's just what you're going to do. Then you're going to take the closest city, either east or west of that city. And for example, uh, in the example that I used was Old, Old Tampa Bay. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to write, you're going to take a picture and you're going to write an article between 250 and 300 words. And then you're going to take a, another uh, area, another city, which is just a little uh, uh, south of your area and another one just a little east of your area and a little north of your area. And what you're going to do is you're just going to link those pages one by one to each other. Now I gave some sample text. So for example, uh, the, the first one says city page one, which is going to link to your homepage, a resource for all things with, you know, Tampa Bay, Northwest Tampa. You could also say, uh, uh, you know, a recess, uh, a resource for all things, uh, that you want to know about uh, XYZ plastic surgery, and then that links to your home page. So you could use your brand, right? Then the second page is going to link to your first page to learn more about city name, 
right? And then whatever you write after that. And then city name links to your first page. Then click here to learn more about city name. That's your third page links to your second page. And your fourth page, if you plan on going to, you know, the city before, click here and that goes to page three and page five goes to four. So what you're doing is you're setting up a silo and, and your silo is just all the cities around your area, around your immediate area, within maybe two miles around your area, two to three miles around your area. Then what you're going to do is create another silo and come out a little bit more. Come out maybe three to five miles and you're going to do the same thing. And then you're gonna come out eight to 10 miles and you're going to do the same thing. Now, something that I want you to know is you're not going to add the city link on your, on your page. Just put it in the site map. This isn't for your visitors. This is for Google to let them know that, that um, this is the area that you do business in, okay? So it's real simple. You're just going to create these small little silos. You start from uh, two to three miles out, three to five, you know, five, five to eight, eight to 10. And you create these little mini silos and you just try to expand your, expand your zone. In the next section, I am going to show you how to get content for these silo pages. All right, so this is just an example of what the page is going to look like. I like to use the link in the first paragraph, linking to the page in front of it, like I said, up in the diagram. It's just very simple. Anywhere between 250 and 500 words, very simple page. It's not going to be on your navigation. It doesn't have to be a work of art. Just put a picture on there and uh, put 250 to 500 words and link to the article in front of it, like I set up on the diagram. Use different anchor text. Don't always put click here and don't always put uh, to check out old Tampa Bay, click here, you know, uh, switch it up a little bit. That's all you have to do. Okay, kids, it's all downhill from here. Now this is all the easy part. All right, so once again, we are trying to rank in the areas closest to Northwest Tampa. So we picked uh, Northwest McFarlane and we picked somewhere around here by the Raymond James Stadium and Drew Park and Tampa Airport. We're just going around in a circle, a couple of uh, areas. In fact, as you make the map larger, you'll see more prominent areas around there. Everybody knows how to work a map. I don't need to do that for you. Okay, so let's talk about content. Well, one of the ways that I like to get content is I go to YouTube, I type in Northwest Tampa, I find somebody that, you know, is, is, is talking about Northwest Tampa. So, for example, I'll take this fella and assuming that his content is good, I will just open up the transcript, I will take out the toggle points, and I will bloop. I will bloop, okay, and I will take all his content, and I'll switch it around a little bit and make it my own, all right? So that's how I get content. Another way I get content is I go to the Wayback Machine and uh, just go to archive.org. I'll put in the keyword like Northwest Tampa. I'll find a website that has expired that wrote some great content on that area, and uh, and I could get the content from there. Sometimes I'll even sometimes I'll even take a little from there, uh, from the Wayback Machine, and a little bit from the uh, YouTube video, and, uh, and and that's what I'll do. The other thing I'll do is I will go to Wikipedia. I will read an article on it, and this is this. I have to do this in the morning because as the day goes on, I have less brain cells, so I can't do this later on at night. But, but during the, in the morning when I wake up, I'll, I'll read the article, I'll go grab a cup, cup of coffee or something like that, I'll come back and I'll think about what I wrote and then I'll write it in my own words. So I could do that. I'll also find the city of Tampa and I'll, I'll uh, write down some interesting facts and then I'll write 250 to 500 words. I'll do that sometimes, right? Most of the time, I gotta be honest with you, I'm lazy. I'm not doing anything. So I'll just go over to iWriter and I'll get a little article for uh, 
I don't know, five or ten dollars. Don't get the two dollar articles or the two fifty articles. They're hardly English, but get the five or ten dollar articles, and you're still going to need to clean them up a little bit. Uh, give them a give them a little guide. Say, okay, you know, grab this website, and I like something from the Wayback Machine, and I like this, and I like this video, and just put together a little something. Just don't say write something about uh, Northwest Tampa because they'll they'll write something crazy. The other thing I'll do is I'll go over to um, I'll go over to Fiverr and I'll write content writer. I'll, I'll put in content writer research and summaries. You get some really good people. I don't know if they're college kids, but they're cheap. It's only five or ten dollars per article. And if you're writing five articles, hey, that's fifty dollars, right? And it, it frees you up for three or four hours. So if uh, fifty dollars is worth three or four hours of your time, then pay fifty dollars right uh, okay so that's what you want to do so you want to write those five articles get them started then next week do another five and next week do another five and just start expanding your reach now here's something else here's something else there's a there's a little something here for you there's a website here called typepad typepad is like a web 2.0 where you could write and you could um, and you could write your thoughts on that You'll notice that the page authority is an 83 and the domain authority is an 83 with an overall spam score of 7 percent so google trusts typepad so what you could do is they have a free account and they have a paid account i think it's seven dollars a year for the paid account something like that and uh it'll be more trusted if you pay if you use the paid account is you could be the authority on tamp on northwest tampa Right, so you write some typepad articles, or, um, and and then all you do is is you just point some links at it. So it would be typepad.com/slash Northwest Tampa, right? Because that's that's that'll be your. They give you a domain name or something, and uh, and you be the authority on Northwest. Tampa, all the things to do, the population. Uh, you can get that from like a niche. You go over to niche.com and you can get all the stats. Let me go to it right now. I should have had it. I'm thinking on the fly. This is me freestyling. I'm freestyling right now. Okay. So to go to niche.com and you go to places to live and you go to place to live and you type in Northwest uh, Tampa. You see, people like when I have everything ready to go, right? And right over here, you could get all the information. You get the population, right? You get uh, the housing, the crime reports, how much uh, houses go for. And you could write a nice little article on that and write them all on TypePad. And then if your TypePad or your Tumblr or your soup.io uh, Web 2.0 becomes popular when somebody types in Northwest uh, Northwest Tampa or your area, whatever that area is. Well, now you could start putting links on that TypePad site back to your city pages that you created on your website, right? So you create a TypePad uh, site. It's just an article. It's just a blog site. That's all it is. And then you create links back to your city pages to each one of your city pages so old west tampa northwest tampa so on and so forth and um, that's going to give it some link juice and give you some more authority right so i don't like busy work i don't like stuff that you know i'm not sure if it's going to work i know that this works uh it really depends on the uh you, you're not going to get away with this in new york city so for example if uh if you're a lawyer in Manhattan and you want to be located, you know, you, you, want, to, you want to come up in the three-pack on, on Wall Street or something. It's just too much competition. There's too many lawyers and stuff there. But if you're in one of these smaller towns, especially like Northwest Tampa, that have a population of uh, 2,000, and then you notice another city, uh, Old West Tampa, has a population of, uh, you know, same thing, there's no reason why you shouldn't be in the three-pack for those towns. Okay, there's no reason why you shouldn't be there. So I'm going to put all the links to everything that we spoke about in the description box below. Once again, if you could please donate to my channel, that would be great. That would really help me out. If you could please donate 
Um, that would be fantastic. And uh, we'll be back for tomorrow for another lesson. I hope everybody is doing well during this quarantine. I go to the tennis courts every day. I go to try to do a little workout. I got some uh, workout bands and some other things. My muscles are melting, but uh, we'll just have to catch up to them later on. And hey, hey, you know what? All right. You know what? I don't think this crap is going to be over until there's a vaccine. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, they're going to tell you in two, next month, yeah, you could go out and do social distancing and, yeah, go to restaurants and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll do every other, of every other seat and the restaurants can't be packed. And, you know, we'll have a whole bunch of rules. But really, this isn't over until we get a vaccine. That's when it's over. That's when it's over. When we get a vaccine, that's when it's over. And I think that's not going to be for another year. So our life is going to be adjusted. So now's the time to learn your marketing and, and get your, uh, you know, practice your marketing because there are a lot of depressed people just laying on the couch and you can't be one of them. I'm trying not to be one of them and I need your help. You know, keep, keep energizing me. I'll keep energizing you and we're going to get through this. 